historically American companies, especially multinationals, are focused on uh, boosting earnings increasingly through efficiency enhancements enabled by the development of China-centric supply chains. That's been the, the model, but now it's being challenged by the politicians. They are fearful yeah. of political yes. consequences if they remain committed uh, to China, and they're being brought in front of congressional committees to testify and explain themselves, and they don't like to well, do that. Well, and China is probably uh, more wedded to thinking strategically about foreign affairs than the counterparts in, in Washington are right now. The level of expertise in the U.S. government about uh, the Chinese economy, the Chinese structure, the Chinese system and its values, I think, is extremely weak. And I dare say, uh, you know, that was a view that uh, Henry Kissinger used to share with me uh, as well. And, and the, he's one man, an important man, uh, but uh, the fact that there are not a whole generation of Kissinger-like acolytes um, operating uh, in policy positions in the United States, not just with respect to China, but with respect to dealing with other uh, geostrategic issues around the world, that is a, a real shortfall uh, for um, the United States.